Hello beautiful people, I am Danae and welcome to Just Talk. I have a very specific um, message. It's, it's kind of a warning. Um, and so for those who do not know, there's a new day, there's a new dawn coming and I'll make a separate video about that. But in this video, we're going to be talking about um, the new dawn and what God needs and so specifically referring to um, agents for change. If you are watching this thing, you are likely one of those people. And so, um, you are an agent for change. Uh, and this is why you may have experienced very bad or strenuous, um, and strained relationships. This is likely why a lot of people didn't like you, right? Because not too many people likes the person that comes into their life and changes their life for the better especially when they didn't know or think that they needed change or that they wanted change or that they wanted to grow or that they wanted anything different. Most people don't like um, a person who comes in and changes their life, even if it is for the better, right? Especially when they never ask for that change to be made. Most people don't like that type of person. And so God is utilizing you to help bring forth this new dawn. You are an agent for change. And so when God is giving you specific instruction, when God is giving you specific details about how to move, when to move, whether it's to relocate, whether it is for you to um, to start a YouTube channel or to get certain messages out to people or whatever this may be, um, God is util utilizing you as an agent for change to help bring forth this new dawn. Um, and so God needs you to move forward no matter who is not okay with it, right? There's going to be certain things that God is going to need you to do and people are not going to be okay with the things that you're going to be doing. But no matter what, God needs you to move forward with it no matter what. Um, so don't remain stuck on the people that didn't or don't appreciate the things that God is going to have you doing. There's going to be things that's not going to make sense to people. There's going to be things that God is going to have you doing. That's probably going to make you seem crazy or like you're lot, like you've lost your mind. And I want you to hear me when I say this, let people think you've lost your mind. Let people think that you're crazy. Let people think that you have lost every marble that you've ever possessed in your being, right? I want you to know that God is using you as an agent for change to create this new world that we're getting ready to experience literally in real time, okay? Um, and so because there is change to be made, you are key to that change. And so God needs you to remain obedient throughout everything, no matter the ups or or the downs, no matter if it seems like it's taking longer than you think it was supposed to take, um, God needs you to remain obedient because you are a big key to that change. Um, and that be that no matter if it's for your community, for your family, for your household, business, city, country, whomever, whatever, right? Um, so don't allow, don't, don't, don't wallow around in your pity or in your misery or your anger or your pain because of he said, she said, or because of something that may not have set right with you um, or something that may have offended you or, you know, pissed you off, rubbed you the wrong way. Don't wallow in the pity. Allow yourself to feel those emotions, feel your feelings because you deserve to feel your feelings, right? I always advocate for that. However, when you're done feeling your feelings, don't sit in it. Don't wallow in that pity, right? Allow yourself to feel it and then get up and move forward, right? Um, and remember, uh, remember that it will get uncomfortable. It will be uncomfortable. It will seem like an inconvenience to yourself and to other people in your life. Um, you will lose people <laughs> as a result of that. You will lose people as a result of that. Um, but that is no reason for you to quit. Okay. Um, so to whomever this message is for, God needs you to be an agent for change. And this requires you to be obedient. This requires you to be obedient in the things that God is asking you to do. So you are an agent for change. God needs you to be that agent for change. It's not an easy feat. However, it is most definitely, most definitely, and always worth it. Peace and love, beautiful people. If this message found you and it is for you, or if it is for someone else, share this message. Um, share this message and comment down below and let me know that this word is for you. Peace and love, beauties.